I'm Steve here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thanks for having me. So we're going to talk about gluten today and gluten is probably not good for anyone, right? Right. My but, opinion, you know, yes. it, yeah, it, now it doesn't bother me. I can eat bread with gluten and it, it, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't notice anything. But we want everyone to watch this, even if you're someone like me who can eat gluten and never even notice, um, because you're going to talk about, I think you're going to talk about some of the hidden places that gluten, you know, where it's hidden. So <laughs> um, talk to us. And, and some people are just gluten intolerant and they can't eat it or it really knocks them sideways. Um, but there might be some people out there that are getting these gluten symptoms and they don't know where the gluten is coming from. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. And gluten is, um, there's a lot of different people who shouldn't have gluten. You know, they, because back in the day, they used to say that only celiac pa patients, people who had celiac disease shouldn't have gluten. And that's actually not true. Gluten is a protein molecule that binds um, the breads, the pastas, the, all that kind of stuff together to make that a nice fluffy thing and breads, you know, not so dense and that kind of stuff. But it really, really does trigger GI upset. I, the minute I take gluten out of people, they immediately feel a relief from inflammation. They're, they don't have bloat anymore. Um, they don't have a lot of the acid reflux they're feeling because it is, it, fuels bacteria and it also people who should not have gluten that's not out there being told besides celiac is people who have thyroid issues should not eat gluten it triggers the thyroid to actually go into a Hashimoto's mode where you might not have that you might just have a hypothyroid but you are having the symptoms of Hashimoto's type 1 and type 2 diabetics should not eat gluten um, if you have any kind of skin issues, you guys, that's a gluten response. Nine times out of 10, it's a gluten response. The other thing is, you know, all these hidden glutens, you know, in alcohol, in your beer, in, you won't believe this, and I know you shouldn't be eating this, but they use gluten in art supplies to hold like the paint, the, all that kind of stuff together. Soups. Is that why? Is that why kindergartners like to kindergartners like to eat paste? Exactly, exactly why. Because it tastes good. <laughs> um, processed deli meats is a huge one for glutens, and you would not think that because you're thinking breads, pastas, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if you heard me, but soups because they want to make it, um, you know, more creamy. That's gluten. Um, personal personal care products deodorants, lipsticks, um, all of that kind of stuff has gluten in it. I always, always make sure that I have makeup that has, that is gluten free. The, the other big one, well, I guess two big ones that we're all doing is our medications. A lot of generic medications have gluten in them. And the other one that's kind of a smoking gun is condiments. We have actually done a, a video on condiments and how bad they are for you, but the lot 99% of condiments out there have gluten in them. Yeah, you know, people who, and, you know, have some questions like, how do you know? I mean, look, like the beer is an obvious one. Yeah. You know, because it has wheat in it. Of course, it's going to have gluten. They're not going to, but, you know, I, I go to some really nice places that have gluten-free pizza and gluten-free beer, and it's delicious and it's healthy for me. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, just because my body doesn't respond negatively at all to gluten doesn't mean I should be eating it. Right. 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 Because just, like, really, yeah, just, yeah, just because I like to have a beer once in a while doesn't mean it's good for me. Right. And, and that goes back to what we've talked about many times. You're clean. What? 95% of the time. And you have the occasional beer, you have the occasional bread or pasta that your body is clean enough to be able to filter that out. The average person who's eating the standard American diet, who's constantly putting gluten in, it is constantly feeding bad bacteria, or it's constantly um, getting into the thyroid. That's a whole different 
you know, that's why you can do that is because you are clean on the majority of the time. Yeah, my diet's very strict. And I, I wanted to, uh, I have a question about um, how do you know, um, how do you know that gluten is in your makeup or, but first I just wanted to say that um, what I do, if I know, I don't have a cheat day. I don't have a cheat week. I have a cheat meal. And what I do that to kind of uh, go with what you're saying is if I know I'm going to have a cheat dinner, I won't eat during the day. I'll have the cheat meal. And let's say I don't usually have pizza and beer together. It's one or the other, but then I won't eat for another, after that meal, I won't eat for another 15 to 20 hours after that meal. So I'm going to go have a cheat meal, but before and after I'm letting my body just attack the beer or the pe the pizza. And seriously, there is a, a lot of places are making very tasty gluten-free pizza. You can oh, get yeah. gluten-free pizza that's really delicious. And, and now some of it tastes like cardboard, but a lot of it is getting better and you can't tell the difference of some of it. Yeah. So, um, my question is, how do you know if there's gluten, this hidden gluten that you're talking about, how do you know? Is it on the label? Is it on your makeup label? There's gluten in here? So, it, you know, there's so many different ways that it's put into, into, into things. And you need to make sure that you're looking at those type of things. Um, yes, if you can't pronounce what's on your makeup label, don't use it. I mean, that's the, the best answer I can give you without getting into all these long names that it can be hidden in. The fact of the matter is don't, there's lots and lots of makeup companies now. Um, I could name off five right off the top of my head that do gluten-free makeup. They do um, chemical-free, organic type makeup that, you know, and I very, I mean, I can't even tell you the last time I used lipstick because there is so many chemicals in lipstick, which... I'm not going to put in my body and I'm not, that's one thing I won't do because it's directly into the first immune spot in your body. Um, you know, in deli meats, if you're not getting organic nitrate free and antibiotic free, that kind of stuff, you can bet there's gluten in it. You can look up your medications and see if there's gluten in it. You can ask your pharmacist in all my supplements. I make sure that I do not go to the big box stores and buy a, you know, a generic type vitamin. I am always telling my clients I'm a vitamin snob and that doesn't have to break the bank either. I just go on to where I know is trusted and I look at the ingredients. It will either tell you gluten and wheat free or it won't say it at all. You can bet the gluten's in there. And you know, um, what I, what I do, I mean, what works for me on the makeup is I just avoid all makeup. Um, I, I, I don't use it at all. And uh, so that, 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 well, that works for me, you know, no makeup. Um, but, you know, people don't realize your skin absorbs things. Like we have a, a spa in our, our backyard and we use chlorine dioxide and it's amazing how clean it keeps it. Yeah. But when you're putting chlorine in a spa, you're, that's going through your skin, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure. You have all those chemicals going through your skin. Now, all we use is chlorine dioxide. It's amazing how much, uh, how, how the spa functions so much better. The water is so much cleaner. And now I'm okay if chlorine dioxide goes through my skin. Right. Right. Because it'll help you filter out some toxins too. Yeah. So, um, and now I can get my wife to get in the spa with me because yeah. she wouldn't do it before when it was chlorine. Yeah. Um, I, whenever we travel, my husband goes, you're not getting in the spa, huh? I said, nope. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or the pool or any yeah. of that stuff. Nope. Not doing it. Yeah. Because your skin just absorbs it. And my wife is very careful about the makeup that she buys and all that. For me, it's easy. I just, like I said, I avoid it, but, um, you, you gotta, and, and people put this sunscreen all they oh. smear it all over their kids, you know? Um, and I'm not saying, I mean, there might be gluten in that. 
I mean, but even if there's not, there's not good stuff. No, not I mean, at all. Not and there, sunscreen. there are some, and we're approaching summer. There are some really good sunscreens out there that are organic that you can use that are, do not just look in your stores or go to a, you know, a, a whole foods or whatever, go to one of them because that is going to ha give you some alternatives. I cannot tell you how much it makes my mother mad when I tell her we are not putting sunscreen on my kids. It drives her nuts, but she's that old school thinking of lathering the kids up. And I'm like, no, you're just slathering chemicals on them. Yep. Last summer, my wife and I, I know we're getting kind of si sidetracked, but this <laughs> is interesting. my wife and I were, um, on a little trip and we we're laying out at the pool and these parents were just spraying this sunscreen all over their kids. I don't know, maybe four or five yeah. years old, just spraying it all over them while they're giving them these packaged snacks. Yes. Oh. Like, Here, get, I want some more snacks. Mom, spray some more. Yes. Yeah. Like, and it's like, I see people and it's like, it's, it seems like they're just, potentially slowly being poisoned oh yeah and you and we could get we could do a deep dive into this kids have not formed their sealed their tight junctions when they're you know young very young you know infants into five and above but you're just making it so that they don't feel that seal that tight junction and they've got a terrible immune system i can't tell you how many kids i see in my practice now because we've done that to them we've slathered them We've given them snacks that are awful, all of the things. Yeah. And we've talked about how hey, when we were kids, it's different. Oh, yeah. How come I eat so much sugar? Well, probably because it didn't, it wasn't poisoned with glyphosate. Yep. You know? Exactly. Um, and all the things, you know, drinking out of the hose. And it's like, oh, yeah. It's like, I mean, it, you, you got to eat, but, um, I'm going to do a, a, a short on, you, know, you and I should do one talking about this. I heard this dietitian saying, some food is better than no food. And I'm going, wait a minute. No, sometimes no food is better than some yeah. food. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll have to do one on that because that, that's ridiculous. You yeah. know, here's what you eat. You have to eat, so you got to go to the fast food place, and here's what you order. No, how about if you don't eat? You're not going to die. I just did a video. You know what? Being hungry is just uncomfortable. It's, you're not going to die. You're not going to starve to death unless you go days and all that. Stop thinking you have to have food at every turn for everything. I have people who come in and they're like, they open their purse and they have snacks upon snacks. Well, I don't want to be hungry. Why not? Back in the day, people were hungry all the time. Yeah. And they were healthier. Right. So uh, ju just to bring this back, uh, uh, you can <laughs> find out if there's gluten in your medications online. Absolutely. Right? And Ask your pharmacist. Make sure you're getting organic and making, make sure you're getting a solid, you know, makeup or anything you're putting on your skin. You just got to dig into it more and find out if there's not only gluten in these products, but other things and yeah. really gluten in your makeup. Seriously. Why yeah. is it needed there? It's not, it's just right. another added to bump up the price. So Nicole, um, you will give um, we want to tell you how to get a hold of Nicole. If you want to hire her, find out about her services, you will give them a hundred dollars off if they mention they saw this video, right? Absolutely. I'll, and you I'll can you the, the initial, you know, and that's reading their blood work and all that stuff, right? Absolutely. You can reach me at the gut girl one at gmail.com. And yeah, I'll give a hundred dollars off anyone who mentions this video. Okay, and that's the number one, the get yes. girl number one at gmail.com. Yep. Okay, Nicole, thanks for being with us, and we'll thanks. see you soon. Thanks for having me.